everybody, welcome back, and today we are doing a weekly palettes video. I haven't done one of these in forever because I did not film in 2020. Sorry about that. But for those of y'all who are new here, this is just where I kind of go through and go through some of the palettes that I have used in the past week or the past couple of weeks, just to tell you what I've used, how I use them, show you some pictures of some looks, and just kind of a, a way for me to go through and evaluate what I'm using in my collection. So every palette that I used this week, I had five. Every palette that I used this week, actually it was new except for one i actually and i filmed tutorials for all of these looks too because i'm at home i don't go anywhere anymore i work right there <laughs> so really my only reason to put on makeup is to share it with you guys so yeah so i will link any videos that are already up i will link them up above and once they are published i will link those as well. So yeah, if you guys want to see what palettes I wore this week, then stick around. The first palette I used this week is this new Wet n Wild Color Icon Tin Pan Palette in Heart and Soul. I did not go into that tutorial. I filmed a tutorial and first impressions with it that went up. I'm filming this Friday. It went up tonight. I did not have high expectations with this palette after using that Lights Out palette. I've got to say I was pleasantly surprised with this one. There were a couple of duds in here. These two shades, this this shade has already got hard pan really bad and then this matte shade is just kind of for me. Like they were just kind of throwaway shades. But I will say the other shades in here were really beautiful. These these two mattes right here are extremely pigmented. This one's a little bit dry but all the other mattes in here feel really nice and soft and are super I would just say super pigmented and easy to blend. I mean, the pink one's easy to blend too. It just feels a little bit drier when you swatch it, which I don't know why that matters because when you put it on your eye, you can't tell. But, you know, just letting you know. Just some gorgeous kind of warmy red brown shades. This shimmer is really, really beautiful. I did I did put this on my eye, but I didn't film it, and it is just a gorgeous shade. And then these two shimmers right here, which I think are really pretty and kind of unique, like especially this one, that orangey with the gold reflect in it, I think are really unique for the drugstore. So the look I created, I used this shade right here as a transition. I deepened it up with this shade right here. I put this shade in the outer V and along the outer third of the lash line, kind of blended everything out with on the lash line with this shade right here. And I used this shade all over the lid and I topped the inner third of my lid with this shade right here, this pinky shimmery. And I was really happy with the look. It was very kind of elongated cat eye kind of just with shadows. I don't think we did any liner with that look. But yeah, really happy with this. I think definitely worth the five or six bucks if you like Wet n Wild, if you were thinking about getting this palette. A couple of duds in here, vast improvement over the lights off and going into it with the low expectations I had, I'm very happy with it. The next palette I used was the Colored Green Queen of Hearts palette. This is such a good palette. It's an oldie but a goodie, but I love it. And I think people forget what a neutral palette this can be because, you know, you just, you take away these shades right there. So it can be a very beautiful, just kind of warm, neutrally palette. Definitely don't have to go with these pinky purpley shades. But I did kind of a more romantic Valentine's Day inspired tutorial. I used Princess. I want to say I used Princess as my transition. I used a Ladyship to deepen up the crease. I think I used air just to kind of blow everything out and soften everything up. And then I used Royal Highness on the, I'm flicking you off, I'm sorry. I used Royal Highness on the lid and then I used Crown in the inner corner. And I was really, really happy with it. Just, you know, just a soft kind of date night appropriate look. I think it turned out really beautiful. And I, it was kind of a nice mix between the neutrals in this palette and some of these deeper, more intensely colored shades. I just feel like you can't get a bad look out of this palette. Like this is one of those palettes, it's kind of like the chocolate bar palette for me, like where every time I go to it, I'm just really, really happy with the look. So that is a, it's like a good pair of jeans. Okay, the last Valentine's Day look I filmed, I kind of filmed three different Valentine's Day looks. One was more fun, one was more vampy, and then one was kind of more romantic. This was definitely the more fun one. I think this tutorial went up Monday, and I used the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette. Again, I was just really impressed with it. Cloudy as my transition shade. I deepened it up with Skyline. I used Sunset to really deepen up the crease. Then I used Strawberry, Mo strawberry Moon. Moon? Then I used Strawberry Moon on the outer portion of my lid and my 
V area. And then I did like a kind of a half cut crease and used this blue diamond shade. And I was really happy with how this look turned out. I thought it was really fun. It was like a fun girls night out type of look that I, I really enjoyed. And I'm really, I gotta say, I'm just so impressed with Lunar Beauty. Just everything, everything I've tried is just fabulous. And this is right there up on the list. And I can't wait to dig into this palette some more. She's good. Next palette I used is a, another new brand to me, and this is the Certify the Dynasty palette. I wore this palette in my January rankings video, and I am super, super impressed with this palette too. It's like I'm finding so many good things already. I'm, I love, I feel like I have rediscovered my love and excitement for makeup, and I'm just so excited about it. But I did kind of a, another half cut crease. I used Empress, Elite, Opal, and Glisten and Opulence. So I think what I did is I used Elite, which I was really impressed with because that's such a it's a matte purple, which are notoriously, matte purples are no, notoriously difficult to work with, but not only did it have beautiful pigment to it and was nice and blendable, it blended out with a, just a really fluffy brush into a beautiful transition shade. I used Empress to deepen up the crease. I used... I did the cut crease and then I put Glisten on the first part of that cut crease over the concealer, and I blended Glisten and Empress together with Opulence, so right in the middle of the lid. And then I layered Opal over Glisten on the inner corner, and I was really, really happy with it. I I can't wait again. I might possibly have gone back on to Certify and picked up the Tropical Wonders and Affinity 2. That, that may or may not have happened. <laughs> Because I was just so impressed. I was so impressed with these mattes. And I was so impressed with the fact that I, I had like zero fallout with this palette. Is that normal? Is that what this brand is? Because if that's what this brand is, I can 100% get behind this brand. I was really, really, really happy with that look. That tutorial should be up probably towards the end of next week. Something like that. It'll be up soon. And then the final palette I used this week is actually what's on my eye right now. I just filmed a tutorial with this and that is the Kaleidos, is it Kaleidos or Kaleidos? Somebody let me know down below. And Angelica Nyquist collaboration. So the Club Nebula palette, beautiful. I, I did a, I did say in that tutorial and I'll you can get into it. I did have a little bit of a learning curve with this palette, but oh my God, this is beautiful. So I went in with Seven of Nine as my transition. By the way, I really appreciate the Star Trek reference. That's fabulous. I deepened it up with Queen of Hearts in the outer, kind of outer corner area, outer portion of the lid, and blended it up just slightly less than I blended Seven of Nine out with. And then I went in with Void, this shade right here, and really packed that on my outer lid, lower lash line, and just blended that out slightly lower than void. So we kind of had a gradient there. And then I went in with gravity, which I am loving that shade on my inner, the inner portion of my lid and my inner corner. I topped that off with firefly. And then on the inner corner, I layered firefly and Nova together to get just a really beautiful inner corner highlight. So yeah, I am super, super impressed with this palette. This palette is sold out currently. They're doing a limited restock on the 17th. So I'll have this tutorial up and then I'm going to try and get one more up for this palette because I think it is, I think if you are thinking about this palette at all, I would highly recommend it. It is, it's just amazing introduction to this brand. All right, everybody. So those are just the palettes I used this week. Let me know, what are you guys using this week? Are you like me? Do you switch it up every single day? Or are you just kind of sticking with one thing? I have weeks like that too, where I'm just like, I want it to be easy. I'm just gonna stick with one thing and just do the same thing. But I hope this was fun for you. As always, thank you so much for hanging out and talking about makeup with me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a rocking week and I will see you next time.